So dear guys, welcome back to another uh, SDK tutorial and this is the second episode of our airport creation tutorial. We are loaded up in um, the Lenago airport, as you can see. Uh, I have uh, deleted uh, the, the compiled project from the community because it's not needed, um, really not needed while we are working on the scenery. And uh, we can continue to work on the scenery by going into tools, project editor, project open it's in the in the recent project or you can open the project by looking inside your uh, is there yeah oh it's there okay to load up our scenery we go to the placement file open up the inspector and click load into editor close the material editor because we don't need that and as you can see by clicking on the scenery editor, all the shapes we have created before are there. So our coloration polygon for the clouds, um, our runways, our exclude polygons. Oh, let's open the properties window, and here it is. Um, the, our um, exclude polygons for the trees, colorations, uh, and uh, so on. Okay, let's uh, continue to create our airport and. Um, Let's make it usable. Uh, there's a thing I noticed while working on the airport. If you go uh, here on uh, runway 16 hand, you will notice that there are a little bit of a, of a bump when you load the, in, the, in the runway. We can do um, a terraforming. A terra what is terraforming? Well, terraforming is a, a thing that helps you to create a, a slopes, to create mountains, to create holes in the um, flex monitor terrain. So to flatten up our um, our terrain, we can create a polygon. Now we're gonna do that by now. So add a polygon, and there it is, and click add. And we're gonna draw the polygon around the terrain. So there is a new feature uh, with a sim update seven, which is loaded up uh, now uh, for the camera. You can go in camera, top down camera, and this load up uh, um, a nice uh, orthographic camera, which is very handy uh, to work with while you are working with a scenery. So uh, let's continue to, to build uh, the polygon. So we have uh, our cross uh, around our cursor. So press the control um, key on your keyboard and start drawing the shape of the polygon around the airport and press enter to confirm and we have another polygon and it's here with its uh, asterisk. So this should be a terraforming polygon. So in its properties, we will um, uh, click on terraforming and let's see what we have got by now. So let's go, let's go back to the developer camera. Use this. Uh, Looks like we have done nothing, but if we um, uh, click on the top arrow and we take the top arrow to the top, to the height, we can see that we are now sloping the terrain. We are now terraforming the terrain. Let's bring this outside so you can see that it, uh, if we go up, the terrain will go up, and if we go down, the terrain will go down, and um, this is all terraformed uh, around the polygon. Okay, this is all the same altitude, but we have another parameter, yes, which is fall off, and is the slope of the polygon. This slope here. So if we put the fall off around the uh, 10 meters, maybe you can see we will have literally no slopes. It can be zero, and there is no slopes. Um, the jagged edge, you can't avoid them because they are built inside the, the terrain. They are due to the terrain uh, um, resolution. You can't avoid them. The only way to avoid them is, the, is to add some, uh, uh, some fall off to your polygon, to your terraforming. Uh, okay, let's go with the... Um, okay. Now it's updated, it takes, a, it takes a bit of a minute to update. Okay, let's see if we have a little too much height. Okay, a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so we can be sure that we are flat with the terrain. So we have uh, the fluff distance of uh, 10, we can be a little bit higher, maybe 50 meters. Because the real problem is in the terrain that if there is a an, an hole here in, uh, in the terrain in the flight simulator, but there is, there is no hole in the reality. Okay, uh, really the airport area and the, the vegetation, I'm, I'm okay with the vegetation so I can lock the, the polygon that I'm I'm um, I'm happy with, so I can select them in the in the editor. And of course, the airport is okay. And the airport is okay. Okay, let's go further with uh, with everything else. Uh, another thing I want to add in this uh, episode are the aprons. Aprons, uh, you know, are the surface where there is uh, asphalt, where there is uh, cement, uh, and tarmac, uh, and the apron belongs directly to an airport, so you can add aprons only into an, an uh, airport. Otherwise, uh, if you are doing a scenery, you should add a polygon if you want, if you want uh, a texture to the terrain. Okay, so what kind of apron uh, do we have here? Uh, by this uh, image, is uh, it's pretty difficult to, to see what's uh, and what is under the building so we're gonna make a, um, a polygon to exclude the building so it's always a polygon add a polygon and i'm gonna mm, trace the new polygon here because all those buildings are gonna be excluded um, in the new sdk sim update 7 you can click this building and I want to exclude all the building in order to not see any one of them. And click Save Scenery every now and then so you don't lose your work. We have, of course, uh, one apron in the here and another here, and maybe one under those buildings. Uh, but uh, we must look at the apron with a better image quality. So let's open up our best uh, source of uh, satellite imagery and uh, if Google Earth can take a look at the Aeroporto Leniego and press R to get the orthographic view like in the sim and we can see we have a big apron under the angles that goes all the way up to this uh, edge and um, then we have a little walkway that goes to this area where there is uh, the fuel station up, and then we have another apron here which is the parking and another apron here under this uh, hangar and we have uh, an uh, helipad here uh, but the helipad isn't there anymore uh, by 2021 there isn't there anymore the helipad so I'm sorry but no helipad in this scenery uh, but maybe we can add it later to add a point where we can take off from with uh, our helicopter. We say that the best uh, source of imagery is Google Earth. We have another source like here in Google Earth. We can access to another source of imagery by going to the street view. So you can just take this little guy and where uh, um, a blue a blue line appears, you can release your guy and you will be there at street level. This is a fantastic way to take a look at the airport without going there. And if you if you had to design an airport where you have a Google uh, Street View, go ahead, design that, and of course you will have a perfect view of uh, all the outside of the airport. And there it is. And we're gonna use that later. Uh, we're gonna talk. Uh, we are talking about sources image sources and uh, there are a lot of sources uh, you can search among uh, without directly going to the airport which is the best source of imagery you can take your uh, your camera and uh, take a bunch of photos uh, everywhere you want so you can go there you can ask uh, the person if we go if you can walk in the airport of course little airports no problem big airports could, could be a lot of problems but uh, in little airport uh, is uh, it's very advisable to go there and uh, to talk uh, with the pilots, uh, to talk with the person, uh, to smell uh, the, the airplane uh, fuel because uh, it's nice, uh, and to hear airplanes, watch airplanes, uh, take a look at picture, very nice, 
thing to do. You can source picture from uh, from different places. Uh, if the airport, uh, if the guys at the airport are social and you have social media like Instagram or Facebook, you can uh, Google for the social media. So you can go on the Facebook page of the airport. Uh, come on, Facebook, load up. And we can click on the pictures. Uh, look at this fantastic uh, pictures of airplanes, of persons, uh, and uh, so on. So you can Google every, every picture you want on Instagram, Facebook, and, and so on. And you have so much details. Look at this detailed picture of the apron and uh, all the picture you acquire from Facebook and from uh, Instagram. Uh, maybe on YouTube, you can see a lot of videos. Okay, let's look at the anger. Very useful. Uh, you should save it in, uh, in a location of, of your computer. And uh, I have um, a neat program uh, that is called uh, Pure Ref where you can put all the, all the picture you find and you can uh, flawlessly zoom uh, in there. Okay, this is pure ref. This is a, a big combination of pictures, uh, always available. Okay, let's see, we have to do this apron now. We can see all the cones. Uh, it's very handy to have as a reference. Okay, let's go back to work. So we have deleted uh, the building. Yeah, press save. Yes, we have. And now let's go ahead by adding aprons. So objects add apron. Where are my aprons? Add an apron. Uh, you can choose about uh, from default, square or disk. Most uses default and that works like the, the polygon. So we can click add, go back in the scenery editor and uh, we are not across anymore, but we have uh, those, uh, those little dot. Uh, so we can uh, start by drawing our hip. So by clicking the, the control, okay, square one, press enter to confirm, and you can see that uh, the, the sim already has put a texture on it, uh, like this, taxi concrete, uh, which is concrete. Um, okay, so we can now uh, rotate this texture to align it with our scenery. With the slider, you can rotate it. I think it's nice. Uh, you can always play with the tiling of the texture. So this, take, this uh, gives you the idea of how many times the texture is repeat along this uh, square. So we can put maybe like uh, 50 meters uh, to have big, 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 big tiles or maybe 10 meters, and we have smaller tiles. Okay. I do like 30 meters. And this is by looking at our reference photo. And we have picture here. It seems okay. Uh, next, we will add uh, our, um, our dirt. But by now, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Okay, let's try to make it flush with the texture underneath. And as you can see, when we draw an apron with the uh, with concrete cement uh, uh, material, uh, you won't see the, uh, the, the, the grass uh, under the apron. Uh, my advice, Always put a bit of fall off around your aprons to to merge your apron with the, the uh, with the grass. And uh, I think this is nice. Uh, we can, um, oh, of course, uh, change where our texture is. This is a new feature. Okay, and we can also change the opacity of the texture to mm, see through our terrain. We can also layer uh, multiple aprons, but uh, by using the priority. And we can, of course, colorize our apron like we did before with the polygon uh, to make it uh, a little more, uh, more darker. Maybe a little more darker. 
And let's make another people here. So let's go back to our reference images or maybe to Google Earth. Okay, let's draw this uh, this apron here. So go back in the scene. Objects add an apron, and there it is. Is uh, it goes all the way up to the end of the anger. So pretty much like here, and goes. To the end of the anger, so you can see we have not a nice image, but we, we will manage that. And here it is. Okay, go straight down to the to the end of the road. Yes. Okay, and press enter to confirm. Okay, so nice thing as you can see. So it seems like that uh, our uh, coloration polygon uh, here is uh, conflicting with the apron. So let's uh, enable the editing again of this vegetation polygon as this one. So let's enable this addition and let's bring those vertices away from our buildings. You know, we have a little bit of fall off, so they are and our buildings. Alright, I do like this. So let's uh, rotate those settings. Rotate, that's the rotation is here. That's right. Okay, so perfect. And uh, as you can see, our um, terraforming polygon is a bit too small. So it's a bit of a gap here, so we can terraforming and about addition, uh, make it a little bit bigger. So there is no jump. Okay, let's uh, move the tiling so we make it flush. Okay, or in this case, I can. Be a larger tier and make that those be smaller here so it's precise. Okay, we can continue and save scenery. So let's go back to the reference images and blurt. Uh, we have some more dark uh, apron here, and um, I didn't know this is asphalt, maybe we have a picture of it. Okay, this one, so you can see it's a bit, a bit of asphalt. Let's see if we have another picture. It's a bit of, of asphalt. So we can design another hyper above it. And it goes uh, through this anger. So let's make this transparent for this moment. Okay, now this should go pretty much like there because this is this thing here. As you can see, I do the set imagery is a very big help for your design. And uh, let's uh, design an apron above that and add objects and apron add. It's okay. Okay. Uh, let's change um, the material. And so let's go to the material editor and search for asphalt. Of course, we need a preview. It's a nice one. Oh, we have a lot of asphalt texture. Oh, those are new. Okay, this one could be nice. And as you can see, we have our asphalt texture here. Uh, maybe it should be a little bit more dark, but let's bring back our uh, concrete. So, opacity full off. And as you can see, um, as soon as uh, those two aprons are one um, above each other, uh, this one is, is covered by, by the other. Uh, but if we increase its priority, nothing happens. Why? Uh, because this one is too light. Okay. Okay, so this apron is priority two, maybe. 
series of k and this one is priority one and we can see it and if we can put it to zero we can see it anymore okay so we take that capacity to zero okay okay really nice really nice the boom after we can put the opacity to the right to the right spot so we have this walkway which goes through the, the signals box and tell the full building uh, so we can add another paper <laughs> Okay, now that the square is a big to here, control, and then back. The way design should be something like that. Okay, and the inner force change to the picture. It's carrying on the side. Like this. Like this. Nice. Okay, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, maybe if we rotate. The... Okay, I do like it. So let's save it. If we disable the building polygon. Let's put it there, or maybe we should come back in a while. And here they are. As you can see, we have some uh, nice airport. Okay, so let's bring back. Maybe I could delete this point because I don't need any more. This point. Okay, so we are okay, we are pretty satisfied. Uh, we can add an apron here. So, apron for the gravel, the gravel parking. And it's a little bit bigger than that. Should go right through the end of the runway. Look here, so. So you can see our cloud is disturbing us with our work, but not very not a big deal. So this is not concrete. So let's bring up the material editor and add the gravel texture. We only have this gravel, but it's nice. Now uh, let's bring it to the material. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, it's, it's very <laughs> it's very big. This gravel. <laughs> uh, we we need a four by four, uh, four drive wheel car to get here. So let's bring uh, down the tiling. Right. Down about five. Okay, it's more gravelish. Yes, it is. So since it's gravel, maybe. Uh, Three meters fall off is okay. A little bit too much, but a two meter fall off is uh, pretty much okay. Yeah. You see the gravel and how it looks like. Now we have another hip up here, but we're gonna do this in another way. I wish I did the helipad. Okay, so we're gonna make a, also this with gravel. And next, we're gonna change it. So, uh, okay, let's put the uh, gravel texture here. So, material editor, um, gravel, gravel. Yeah, this is nice, but. This is okay too. And maybe five meters. This is okay. This is close. Uh, our fall off of two meters. Oh, two, two big meters is okay. Um, maybe we can make it sort of bigger like that. Maybe. Okay, I do like it. And I want my gravel to be uh, above. 
the cement because you know gravel goes pretty much everywhere. A little bit like this. A little bit like this. So stay thinner. Okay, I think that uh, for today we are yeah, good. Uh, we have uh, learned how to do some terraforming, how to add aprons, how to make them uh, nice, colorize them. Uh, Really nice things we have uh, we have learned. Uh, next time, maybe we can do something with this river because it's uh, it's really too big. Uh, but it's not my priority. And uh, in lesson number three, we go through 3D objects and uh, blend. Um, thank you for for watching this video. If you wanna subscribe to the channel, you of course be be happy because you can follow all the. Um, all the series with me. Uh, thank you so much for following me. Bye bye.